Hi, you might already know that Run Zero is a network discovery and asset inventory platform that discovers all of your managed and unmanaged assets, whether they're in the cloud or on premise, or if they're found in your IT environment or your OT environment. If you're not familiar with Run Zero, please check out the link in the description below and then come on back because in this video, I'm going to show you how to get started with Run Zero starting from scratch. Let's get started. Getting started with Run Zero. This walkthrough is divided up into three different parts. The second part is specific to the Linux operating system. If you're interested in following this walkthrough on Windows or Mac, please click on one of the links to go to one of those videos instead. All right, with that out of the way, let's move ahead with part one, which is to activate a Run Zero console account. To do this, simply go to www.runzero.com and head over to free trial. You'll notice that we have two different editions of the free trial, both of which do not require a credit card. The Enterprise Pro Edition is a limited time trial that allows you to test out nearly every single feature in Run Zero. It does require a business email address. We also have the Starter Edition. This is the free forever edition with limited features and is great for those at home or student researcher type of use cases. Earlier today, I had created a ProtonMail account for this walkthrough. All right, at this point, we have submitted our email address for the Run Zero console account. And what we need to do next is go over to our email inbox and complete the activation. And here's the activation email. Here's the activation link. We'll click on that. And we're at the activation page where we need to put in a little bit of information about ourselves. And we have just completed part one of the walkthrough, which is to activate a Run Zero console account. In part two, we're going to install the Run Zero Explorer on this Linux box. The Run Zero Explorer is the scanner that does discovery to find all of your assets on your network. If you're interested in doing this step, this part on Windows or Mac, please click on one of the links uh, to go to one of those videos instead. Don't worry, you don't need to redo everything you've done so far. That part was the same regardless of the operating system that's going to host your Run Zero Explorer. All right, moving ahead with Linux here, we simply go over to the big orange button, click on that, it copies everything uh, from the, the black box over here. And we're going to go over to a terminal and simply paste in the commands. This will download the installer. And once it's done, we're going to be prompted for our password. And the installation is already complete. If you like, you can come back to the console to verify that the Explorer was successfully installed. Simply head over to Deploy Registered Explorers, and we can see indeed, yes, we have a new Explorer that's been deployed over here. It's never been used for a scan. And this completes part two of the walkthrough. In part three, we're going to initialize a scan of your network using this new Explorer. We do that by going over to Inventory, Scan, Standard Scan, and if you like, you could simply just click on initialize scan here and get started. But it's usually good practice to put in a scan name. The discovery scope is automatically configured based on the host where the Explorer is running. So in this case, this Linux box. And if you click on initialize scan, confirm, and away we go. So that's it. Start by activating a free trial or the starter edition. Next, install the Run Zero Explorer. And then finally, initialize your first scan with Run Zero. If you want to learn more about other Run Zero features and functions, please check out the other videos in the Run Zero product walkthrough series.